This here is a small um, ostracod uh, that I found uh, in some standing water inside a forest. The ostracods belong to the crustaceans and look, it just pooped here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you several uh, crustaceans uh, that are pooping in this video. Um, but actually, I want to also show you how I caught those and how I put them um, under the microscope. There were quite a few um, of them in the water sample. And it all started out uh, at the beginning of May 2023 when it had a little walk in the forest. It was one of the first warmer days. And I saw this uh, two uh, yeah puddles of water right next uh, to the path. One of them was a little brownish, the other one is slightly more greenish. Um, and as a general rule, um, if uh, water is uh, standing there for approximately a week or two, then this gives it enough time for those uh, water organisms uh, to grow and uh, to thrive. And uh, I'm going to now show you um, actually yeah how I collected those. It does not look very appetizing, I have to tell you. Um, there are quite a few um, filamentous algae in here as well, and I do not have my scissors or my um, yeah my tweezers uh, with me, so um, I'll just have uh, to hope that I'm able to collect sufficiently interesting material here. Yeah, it does look green. Yeah, so maybe I'm going to uh, find something interesting in here. But I think uh, it's a little bit too clear. Um, I need some sediment as well and some solid material as well. So let's try it again. Look what I'm doing. I'm kind of agitating the ground a little bit um, and uh, it's a little bit more turbid and this is a sign that there is now more solid material here and uh, maybe this is going to be a bit more interesting muddy here have to be careful uh, but i do want to also uh, get some algae um, so i have to be a little bit careful oh, okay ah this was not good um i gotta wash this off <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm not quite able to reach uh, the other side uh, easily, um, so I think I'm just uh, going to um, not try because otherwise I'm going to fall into the water here. So let's try this one here as well. Okay, that was a little bit easier. Well, well judging uh, from the color, there is not a huge difference really. Now one is a little bit, uh, the right one here is a little bit more green than the left one. Um, yeah, but I do see some water crustaceans, some water fleas uh, swimming around here. Um, yeah, so I'm quite hopeful that we're able to find something interesting in here. So back home again, uh, here are the two water containers and uh, it's already evident that there is a slightly different color here because uh, the water was different, but uh, both of them were actually uh, the home of those uh, water crustaceans. What I've done is I used uh, yeah, a pipette, uh, where, um, a disposable pipette where I cut off the, the tip uh, so that it's uh, much more easily possible uh, to uh, suck up uh, those uh, crustaceans because they do have a size of approximately two to three millimeters um, in length. Um, and uh, then um, under the microscope, uh, yeah, this is basically what I saw here. And uh, evidently the food was plenty because uh, they did, uh, yeah, digest a lot and eat a lot and uh, quite, uh, yeah, also produce a lot of waste here. Um, now uh, there were a, a whole range of different uh, water crustaceans in the water sample. There were Daphnia in there, there were ostracods and other uh, water crustaceans as well. Um, but all of them share one thing in common, and that is is that they are arthropods. So this basically basically means they have a, a hard outer exoskeleton um, and then the organs on the inside, um, they are soft. And uh, very nice uh, to see that due to the transparency, um, this is of course the working of the inner organs here. Now this here is um, a, a larva, so there were also larval stages um, in there and uh, that is the waste that they produced and they produced quite a bit of that. That kind of shows uh, that the water must uh, have carried uh, quite a few nutrients here. The rainbow colors, that's, that's because of the polarized light. Uh, here and uh, when you put those water crustaceans under the microscope then I recommend that you do not put a cover glass on top because uh, this might actually crush uh, the little animals but that you um, simply put them into a small drop of water and then the surface tension of the water is going to prevent it uh, was going to prevent them from actually swimming away yeah but sometimes they do try to rotate around uh, in a circle like this so those uh, water crustaceans um, are quite important uh, also for keeping uh, the water clean because what they feed on um, debris so basically decomposing material bacteria of course uh, possibly also other protozoans uh, like paramecia uh, 
and I've also tried uh, in the past uh, to feed them uh, some um, yeah some cells for example yeast cells uh, they like to eat that as well and uh, then you can actually also see how they are actually ingesting uh, those cells and then sooner or later they're going to start uh, pooping everything out um, out again well um, I think uh, for today that's it and uh, there's only one thing left to do and that is, is uh, to say to consider subscribing if you like this uh, and uh, see you around next time happy micro hunting as always and bye bye and what about my shoe